Dr. Jody, and today on PetMD, we're discussing intestinal parasites in dogs and cats 101. Why does your veterinarian always ask you to bring in a fecal sample? There are four main types of intestinal parasites that we're talking about, and the first one is tapeworms. If you see a tapeworm, it is a long, flat, segmented type of a worm. You might see something that looks like a little dried up rice grain, and that is how you know that your pet has tapeworms. Most other kinds of parasites, you won't see anything passed out. So the fecal sample that you take in will be analyzed under a microscope to determine if there are any parasite eggs. So it's actually the microscopic eggs that provide your veterinarian with the diagnosis. How does your dog or cat contract tapeworm? Actually, there's a tiny microscopic portion of tapeworm that is inside of a flea. So you're, you should ask yourself whether or not your pet has evidence of a flea infestation. The other way is to eat a critter, like a mouse or a rabbit. Puppies and kittens are commonly infested with roundworms at birth. So when you obtain your healthy little young puppy or kitten, it probably does have roundworms and your veterinarian will recommend a routine deworming. Another type of intestinal parasite that is very serious is hookworm. And these kinds of parasites are microscopic, little tiny smooth worms that you can't see with the naked eye, but they can be seen under the microscope, and they will actually attach inside the intestines of the pet and suck their blood. The fourth type of parasite seems a little less common. It's called whipworms. Sometimes whipworms are not diagnosed because they are shed in the fecal sample very intermittently. So if your pet has symptoms of profound weight loss, extreme shedding, intermittent loose stool. This can be related to the intermittent shedding or passage of the eggs. So a take home tip today would be clean up after your pet. Be aware that it is transmitted from dog to dog via fecal contamination. And also be sure and bring in that fecal specimen for your veterinarian to check annually.